He opens one hand and looks at it. A moment passes. Which school do you subscribe to? Mambo or Jambo? Mental illness. So, the 41st precinct sent you because you are the most mentally ill out of all the officers at your station? Of course. Good to see you, friend. Do I have deals set up for you? So what do you want? I've got smokes. Okay! Wow! Bratushka! The spirit! Let's buy the spirit! 300 rail is a lot, but this has to be done! It's our end game! Bratan, you don't understand! It's not just another drink! This is what our relationship has been building towards all these years! This is the climax! The mystery! The virginal sigh! You have to buy it from him! Get it off him! Kill him if you have to! Our ultimate fate depends on it! And the fate of many worlds! The lieutenant looks at you, looking at the bottle of spirits, then at Rosemary, suspiciously. Just make sure to enjoy that one, friend. Bratan, I am so proud! Now, whatever you do, don't drink it! This deserves so much more than just regular oral consumption! The tie is so on the money there. Up the bum it goes. Who said anything about putting it up there? No! We're gonna put it into a way more special place! So special! Just hang on to it! Keep it safe! Wait for my sign! Soon. The time will come soon. Have patience, brave one. I'm getting a really dark vibe from this. This won't be pretty. You better not fucking think about ditching me for some shitty cum stain bow tie! You and I are gearing up for the final showdown that's gonna be off all walls. You wait and see. Your necktie sounds very scared. Never take it off. Yes, agreed. You should never take your necktie off, ever. Ratan, now is the time. Oh, you will see. It feels like the tie is rubbing itself against your chest, like a cat in heat. First the spirits, the blue medicinal spirits. Grab the bottle and uncork it. It is time to unleash the other world. Hush, hush, Bratan. Now is not the time to celebrate. Now is the time to get ready. Trust me on this. This is what it's all been building towards. It's gonna be off the hook. Of all hooks! The bottle opens with a silent, mysterious hiss. The fumes rising from its mouth are as crisp as the northern winds. Howling somewhere, lashing the boardwalk with brine and rain, an ancient warmth crawls under your skin. Now, Bratan, take me off! Bratan, have I ever lied to you? Just take me off! Your fingers manage to undo the oily knot, and the necktie slides off. It looks so frail sitting there in your hand, weighing almost nothing. Now, put me in the bottle! Trust me! Just trust me! You and I are gonna have so much fun it should be illegal! Just put me in the bottle, Bratan! I'm not gonna let you down! You and I are like the same person! As the necktie slides into the purifying liquid, large stains of grease rise off from it and float to the surface. There, they quickly dissolve and disappear completely. Cleansed by the blue spirit fire of 98.7% pure alcohol, the fabric looks almost new again, no longer like a disgusting worm of the lower intestine, but like a colorful and deadly poisonous reef snake of the Insulindian Ocean. The necktie floats in the bluish liquid, 
with almost unearthly grace. There is silence. The lieutenant has been observing you quietly all this time. He's struggling to keep silent, but finally seems to give up. I've got to ask, what are you doing? Of course it has. And what has the necktie been telling you, if I may ask? Wonderful, very useful. He doesn't actually believe it's wonderful. Okay, so why did you put it in the bottle? Right, okay. Anyway, I'm glad you told me your necktie has been speaking to you. That must not have been easy. We're all under stress. This is turning into a great big mess. I'm not judging. Just keep it together. Let's go. With a crash of shattering glass and a terrible roar, the fire draws in oxygen. The bomb hits the mercenary in the chest swallowing him in flames as he staggers backward. In the fiery inferno, you'll see your tie coiling around the man's neck. It is no longer horrific, but beautiful and pure. I only ever wanted you to have fun, Harry. It calls out to you one last time. My name, should you know it, is Jobson AS Men's Fashion Model Colorful Tie, catalog number J327. One day a sad man walked into a clothing store. He looked really down, like he hadn't had fun in years. He needed someone to show him how to rock and roll again. Jobson AS catalog number J327 shone on the tie rack, trying to get his attention. The sad man picked it up and put it on. He looked at himself in the mirror, didn't smile. And from that moment on, we rode together. The rest of your clothes were still normal back then, but we took care of that soon enough. Truthfully, not a lot. I did everything a multi-pattern necktie can do to help a man. I mean, I tried to get you to do all the fun things. Drink beer, drink wine, drink cider, go to parties with young people around and drink beer and cider. Do drugs, too, so you don't fall asleep. You had some fun, but not enough to heal you. Your heart is broken, Bratushka, and it cannot be mended. Believe me, I've tried. No, you're going to be mowed down by gunfire from the two remaining mugs. So no, not forever. You both did, Bratan. Deep down, you know it was both of you. No, no. It was her, mostly. Don't lie to him, Nicktai. This guy, well, his face has cracked open into a scream of terror. It looks like he's performing some sort of a shamanistic dance that requires you to be on fire. Yeah, his body contorts in a very disturbing manner. There's no mincing words with this one. He's dying a horrible, painful death as you're talking to your tie in your head. Smells like a steak on the grill, the burning flesh in your nostrils. It's good to see you still have capacity for compassion, my friend. Deep down, you are a good man. See you on the other side. The necktie disintegrates into molten heat its last remaining embers letting out a pop and crack that sounds like... Harry, for God's sake! Watch out! To your right, the killer raises his rifle and takes aim at you. His moves are steady, but the long barrel of the rifle sways slowly. The shot rings and you stop. Something violently tugs at your shoulder, pushing you backwards with incredible force. 
A volcano of burning pain erupts from your left shoulder. The pain flows over your entire body like an awful shock. A grim knowing rises from within. Half of your body must be gone. God, please. He's aiming for the eye slot in Rude's helmet. An extremely difficult shot. Then, two shots reach the <laughs> and you hear a scream. But you're too hurt to see who got hit. Blood gushes from the helmet's eye sockets as Rude staggers back, disoriented. The sounds coming from his helmet are not human. An unbelievable shot from the lieutenant. Glenn, dying in a puddle of blood behind you. His mangled torso has two gunshot wounds. Blood gushes out of them like red geezers. Oh God, watch out! You see two crazed eyes stare at you through the burning meat and the flames. With his face boiling off, the man raises his pistol at you. Then he squeezes the trigger. What happened? You threw an improvised petroleum bomb at the Major. A firefight ensued. He does not answer, and searches for something in his coat pocket instead. A smoke, most likely. Very. He died in the hospital. You're a real killer, Harry. A bloodstained killer. You're an officer of the RCM. There I was, thinking, where are we gonna find a tin opener large enough for those cans? Then Capo Loco shows up and just sets a man on fire. Impressive shit, Copper. None of us would be breathing right now if it wasn't for... I guess... What I'm trying to say here is, thank you.